from a distance, one would think that Sarah Adero is simply doing her laundry at home. But she is recycling synthetic hair waste. Adero and her team collect the waste from salons and barbershops and turn it into doormats, table mats and carpets, preventing it from ending up in Lake Victoria. The recycled items sell for between $5 and $30 a piece, depending on the size and design. This job has helped all of us. The salon owners get to dispose of synthetic hair waste from their shops, and I profit by making doormats and selling them and get money. The environment also benefits because these wastes used to block drainage. The collected waste is washed and left to dry after sorting before it is woven into finished product. Women in Kenya's Kisumu County are increasingly turning to synthetic hair to enhance style and aesthetics, as well as to avoid health risks associated with harsh styling chemicals such as relaxers. Synthetic hair, however, creates large amounts of waste, contributing to environmental pollution. One of the areas that a number of uh, authorities and environmentalists had never identified as a source of uh, pollution to the lake are actually the synthetic human hair and even the natural hair that we get from uh, barber shops. Not so many people have ever thought of their disposal. Local government officials acknowledge challenges in synthetic waste management and say they support solution-driven initiatives. The environment is my responsibility and your responsibility and our responsibility. So anybody who is going that route is highly welcome and highly applauded because unless we pull together to protect and conserve the environment, then we will still have so many challenges around waste management. Synthetic hair recycling is a relatively new concept in Kenya, but experts say it has great potential to provide numerous environmental, social and economic benefits. Of the 3.5 tons collected monthly in the Mamboleo shopping center, Adero says she can only recycle up to 5% of that for now. Her hope is to expand the initiative and train more people to scale up the benefits. Juma, Majanga, for VA News, Kisumu, Kenya.